That is stronger than I expected. Hi guys. <laughs> I don't really know what, what? So today's video is going to be a good old boy slash girl talk. It's basically just going to be like an advice video, like a tips video, just a rant video. Just two gals or guys at a slumber party just living it up with their gin and lemonade. It's not even lemonade. It is not even lemonade. Grab a drink, grab a snack, sit down with me and let's get into it. Also, the top is from Zaffle. If you haven't watched my Zaffle haul, watch that. I'll link it below. Definitely won't. I always say that and I don't. But just find it on my channel. You'll find it somewhere. Yeah, so top is from Zaffle. Necklaces, I always get questions. Wow, is this a haul or an advice video? Anyway, necklaces, I always get questions. They're from Boho Moon. Uh, they're like an Instagram brand. And then also rings are all from there too and earrings in case you're wondering are from asos so now that i've caught everyone up on what they didn't care about let's get into the video also if you are new subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok i've really i mean if i've done anything during quarantine it is waste my time on tiktok so come join me over there so yeah basically i asked you guys on instagram for just some like advice and questions and we're just gonna go through them now so Let's go. Friends that don't make much of an effort now that they've got a boyfriend. Okay, we're starting there, yeah? I feel like the older I've grown, the more my mindset has changed towards this. Just because, let me explain. So obviously you're used to being with your friend a certain amount of time. You're used to them being a certain way. You're used to that friendship being how it is right obviously if a new person comes into their life on the level of like a boyfriend it's going to change their life with everything like with you with their parents with their work life like everything it's going to change everything because obviously it's like a new person and with boyfriends especially i'm sure you know you want to spend time with them obviously your best friends are your people too but like a boyfriend is I mean, they're your boyfriend, so friend's time has now got to be split between more people, if you see what I mean. So it's a normal thing for them to spend more time with them and maybe a bit less time with you. But if they've, like, completely cut you off, then there's an issue. Then I'm going to be mad. If they completely cut you off, then that's a bad sign. Because obviously, yes, at the beginning, it's exciting. You want to spend time with your boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. But that's like becoming famous and then forgetting where you came from, you know? Like, I built you. And now you're gonna ditch me, wow. But no, it only becomes an issue when they completely cut you out. But I feel like if they do that, probably doing that with 90% of the other people in their life. So yeah, if it was me, I'd probably bring it up to them. I'd probably be like, hey, bitch. You're even a bit mad. Like, I know you're with this new guy and you really are loved up. And you know, you think that you're gonna get married and I'm really excited for you, but. How about I just go for a drive? How about we just hang out on Monday? What are you saying? And if she says no, I don't know where I'm going with this. What I'm trying to say is bring it up. If you then bring it up and she doesn't do anything about it or she sees it as an issue, then I'm not going to lie. You've brought it up. You've made her aware. You just got to let her do her thing. The more I've grown as well, the more I realise everyone's life is their life. And you just got to leave them to it sometimes. Friendships go through phases. I've had loads of friendships where we go a while and we're a bit distant and then it just goes back to normal. So boyfriends are going to come and go, but friends really see the ups and downs of life and like the distant and close period so it might just be a phase and if it's not honestly some people are meant to be in your life of chapters some for the whole book don't ask me where i came up with that i think i'm drunk just graduated and feel like i'm in a weird limbo how did you feel after graduating <laughs> you're still in that limbo i graduated three years ago i'm not gonna lie i think i'm still in the limbo i think i don't think i'm ever gonna leave it to be honest like i definitely just feel like why did i actually get that degree kind of thing but it's totally normal to feel like that i think a lot of people feel like after uni it's expected to just get the dream job straight away but guys especially after talking to some friends as well for most dream jobs you need to go through certain stepping stones like most people coming out of uni haven't worked in an office before. It depending on what you want to do, internships are probably the best thing to do because experience is like number one, more so than your actual degree, which is mad, but it makes sense because obviously a degree can give you so much, but work experience in the actual industry you want to go into means that you're going to know what you're doing a bit more. So yeah, one thing I wish I did do at some point, whether it's before uni or after uni, is take like a gap year and just take some time out. Also, don't feel pressured to do what your degree was in. My degree was in psychology. I'm not even sure what I want to do particularly yet, but I know I'm probably not going to be like a psychologist, you know? So yeah, don't feel pressured to do what your degree specifically was. 
Just be happy you got a degree, because bitch, that is an achievement in itself. I want to focus on my school slash life career and ignore boys, but I always get the urge to have a boyfriend. <laughs> <gasps> that is totally normal i just feel like society in general it's just a thing to be with someone like it's a thing to be in a relationship even if you and your friends aren't even in relationships you're probably talking about guys like it's just it just is what it is i don't i don't know i can't change the rules but if you and your head are at a place where you want to focus on career and your own life please for the love of god do that there's a reason you want to do that so do it now where you've got the drive to do it because if you come to a point where you still want that stuff but you haven't got the drive it's a lot harder so if you've got that feeling deep inside where you know you want to focus on you and your career do it now and you never know a guy could come along the way when you least expect it, it always happens when you least expect it so i would just say do your thing don't worry if it does happen don't worry if you do get a boyfriend or you do start speaking to people it's normal but if you consciously know you don't want it to distract yourself you owe it to yourself not to let it distract yourself because when you're not even trying it will distract you so if you're already woke about that stay woke how long should the talking stage last for oh the talking stage oh what a time to be alive i could do a whole video on the talking stage because honestly i think i've been scarred for life no i'm joking am i okay i'm gonna put the drink down for this one so the talking stage is probably the most exciting and just pure stage like you're just getting to know each other there's no bad vibes it's just like good vibes it's exciting and then <laughs> and obviously the deeper you get the more complex it gets in terms of how long it should be Arunib, I don't need your input for this part. Fuck my life. It's hard because obviously you have certain expectations. The other person may or may not have those expectations. Spanners can be thrown into the works. Exes can come back up. Everyone's talking stage is their own talking stage. So I would say when you feel like it should be progressing or like when you feel like you want to take it to the next level, if you're not sure if the other person's in that place, you're gonna have to bring it up because otherwise you're just never gonna know. I think especially with our generation, if you get into a talking stage and it just goes smoothly into a relationship, <laughs> Nobel Prize for you. I think you just have to communicate. Even if the other person is a communicator, you need to communicate. Because you never know, if they weren't in that place that you are, and then you say you are in that place, it might switch things up for them. If they just say to you they're not, then you gotta keep it moving. <laughs> this is coming from someone who does not know what she's talking about, so take that with a pinch of salt ideas for first dates wow i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what not to do clubs are not the place for a first date okay it's too loud it's too loud and that's all i have to say on my own. i would probably say first date is obviously a bit hard at the moment because of rona and that whole situation i think a nice first date is like a day of like various activities could be cute like maybe i think just a picnic is probably quite cute maybe like a road trip go to like the beach for a day or go to like a hiking spot for a day i say this shit if someone actually suggested that to me i'd probably laugh in their face my boyfriend depends on me financially and doesn't work how can i stop giving money sis just stop giving the money i've never been in this situation but i've had friends who have been in this situation before and it is quite hard to get out of because it's kind of like okay i'm funding this person's life how do i just I just stop doing that. To be honest, I'm sure you didn't get into it thinking it was gonna be this long term. So now you're in the situation where you're like, oh shit, literally half my wages are going on you. I would honestly say you probably need to stop or at least partially stop so that they realize they can't continue how they're going unless you're there. You can't fund someone else's life forever like yeah i get it in relationships you help each other out like you go through rough patches whatever but there's gonna be a point where it's like okay shit i'm working for my own money it depends honestly i don't know what i do in that situation you just need to sit down with them and be like i get it i'm helping you out like i've got you but maybe even sit down with them look for jobs help them apply talk to them be like what is it you want to do what do you want to do with your life what do you want to do what is your five-year plan even if you just bring up the topic i'm sure it'll give them the idea that like okay shit she's not gonna keep doing this for the rest of my life and i probably need to get my shit into gear i think girls especially i'm not making generalizations i'm just talking i'm just admitting we tend to think stuff and then expect the outcome to happen without actually saying what we thought so if we actually say what we thought maybe sometimes things would turn out different is my guy mate being friendly or does he actually like me so frustrating <laughs> Yeah. first of all what's the story what is the story it depends how it normally is like if you're normally a certain type of way in the friendship and then you get like a different vibe and it might be that their feelings have changed or 
or flip it, you might be maybe feeling different towards them and then everything they're doing, which is normal, you're seen differently. Anyway, I feel like the best relationships start with being friends anyway. So if you do like each other and it does just blossom into a relationship, then that's great. If you're confused and you just wanna know, if he's your friend, I'm pretty sure you could probably just ask him. Like, yeah, it might be a bit awkward, but if you're really friends, like, you'll probably just look back on it and laugh if it didn't turn out how you thought it would. But, yeah, I think the best thing, if it's really affecting you, then ask. If it's not and you're just like, oh, it might be a phase, then just, just ride the wave. And honestly, if you're meant to be friends, you'll overcome anything, so... Cheers to that. When someone you like leaves you undelivered but active and posting on social media. That is some primary school ass shit that I don't have time for. <laughs> Listen, I've decided to live my life by the phrase, it's your life, do what you want. As much as it might annoy you, you honestly just have to think, if they're gonna be like this, they're gonna be like this. Yes, you could bring it up, which I probably would. I'd probably bring it up like once, be like, okay, this is a bit weird. But then if I flipped it on me, someone said to me, why are you active on Instagram when I just WhatsApp to you? I'd probably be like, sorry, is this your phone? Did you pay for the contract? You know what I mean? It depends how much loyalty they owe you. Like if you're in the talking stage, as annoying as it is, and trust me, I would find it annoying too, but there's not much you can do. Like it's up to them what they do with their phone. They chose to do that. And if they want to be rude, then let them be rude. Annoying Pakistani aunties always creating drama left, right and centre. <laughs> That's not any Pakistani aunties. This is such a known thing in like Asian culture I feel like. So if you're not familiar, a lot of Asian families have a lot of expectation of the girls. Where your life should be, whether you should be married, what your income is, who your friends are, how your hair looks, how much weight you've gained or lost. So yeah, they just have a lot to say. And sometimes it's just like, wow, I really just came here for the free food. But yeah, what to do about that, honestly? You need to rise above the drama. Honestly, it's hard with family because it's like, wow, we're really connected by blood here and there's not much I can do about that. But I think the best thing to do is just don't entertain it. Most of the time, I'm not gonna lie, it's because they're bored or they just wanna, just wanna spice up their life a bit. Honestly, you just need to get to a point where you're so confident in you and the decisions you make that you have a comeback for everything they say. I'm talking to a boy and I really like him, but my friends don't, what do I do? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> This is another thing I've learned with age, okay? Your friends, obviously hoping that they're genuine friends, don't have a reason to not have your best interests at heart. When you're at that stage with someone, obviously you don't wanna see what people are telling you. It depends the reason they don't like them, first of all. Like if they just don't get on, some people just don't get on. You have to remember, they've just got your best interests at heart, honestly. And most of the time, I've realized that you cannot control someone's life. You can give your input, but at some point you just have to be like, listen, I've got you, but you need to do what you need to do. If it works, I'm gonna be so happy for you. If it doesn't, then I'll be here with my baseball bat. If they are your real friends, as long as it's not causing actual harm to you, they'll accept your mistakes and let you do dumb shit. If it's causing harm and they're like, shit, you shouldn't be in this situation, and you know your friends are genuine, I would say just think about it at least. Like, just be like, okay, why would they be saying that? Not saying you have to do what they want because everyone needs to do everything in their own time and realize what they need to realize. But especially if they're like long-term friends, at least take a step back and just be like, okay, I see you, but I'm still gonna be a dumb bitch. I'll see you on the other side. So yeah, that is that video. I actually really enjoyed that. Let me know if you want me to do another one or any topics you want me to do videos on. I love giving advice. I just feel like we all live the same life, honestly. But yeah, make sure to like the video if you like this type of content. As I said, if you want specific topics, leave them below or just any video ideas in general, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Also, I just wanna say, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. Everyone's life is different. Everyone's life is their own life. I've got your best interests at heart, but I'm not always right either. So just guys, ride the wave of life. Love you guys, hope you're staying safe. I'm gonna go focus on my TikTok career.